Hi Libra, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your January 2017 monthly tarot forecast. This is for Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and Libra Rising signs. So Libra, for this reading I am using my Crystal Visions Tarot deck along with the Keepers of Light Oracle cards by Kyle Gray. And then I'm also going to be pulling you an additional Romance Angel card by Doreen Virtue. All right, Libra. And as always, if you are interested in receiving additional guidance aside from the monthly and weekly tarot forecast that I offer here on my channel, please head over to either Facebook or Instagram and follow me there because I do actually draw and upload a daily Oracle guidance card every single day. And if you are interested in receiving a private reading from me, please head over to uh, my website. I have it linked below in the description bar and read about how I offer my private readings. Uh, right now, for a limited time, I do have the 2017 readings up for sale. Okay. So the overall energy Libra for the month is the King of Swords. Okay. So the King of Swords, no matter if you're male or female, this definitely can be your energy. The King of Swords is more of a logical, very analytical person. Uh, for me, he is a truth seeker. He likes to cut to the truth of the matter or get down to the bottom of something. He's also a planner. Uh, he's very much in the mind. So for some of you, of course, that can be your energy throughout January. Uh, but you also might be seeking some sort of clarity. So you might want to get down to the bottom of something. For a very small number of you, there could be an Aquarius, Gemini, or maybe another Libra person that's quite significant, male or female. This person would be very significant throughout the entire month. The King of Swords can also represent an attorney or someone who works within the, the justice system or the legal system. So for some of you, uh, this can certainly be a character. Um, now... Right at the center here, this is energy that you're dealing with either right at the, the start of January or maybe even at the end of December here. We do have the Six of Swords crossed by the Ace of Wands. So this is very, very nice. So uh, the Six of Swords is, is movement. This is forward movement. For some of you, maybe you're mentally moving forward. You could be mentally preparing yourself with this energy here on moving towards something really exciting, something new with the Ace of Wands here. And then for others, this is exactly what you're moving towards. So you could be actually moving towards maybe starting uh, a new project or starting something that you're very passionate about. This could be even a new job or a new home. It's something that is very, very exciting. Uh, with the Six of Swords, uh, for those of you that were dealing with some sort of difficulties previously, this is you moving from stormy waters to much more calmer waters. So moving towards peace of mind. And then we have this beautiful Ace of Wands. Uh, and this is the crossing card. So for some of you, this is the challenge right now at the start of the month. Um, and then for others, you know, this is exactly what you're moving towards, uh, starting something new. This can also be you incredibly passionate and incredibly creative here right at the start of the month. I think that even for those of you that maybe this is the challenge right now, this is what you're wanting to move towards, uh, I think that by the end of the month, you're going to be manifesting something wonderful here. This is beautiful. Uh, and it could be because maybe uh, you had some really exciting news that came through previously because at the foundation I have the Page of Wands. So for some of you, this could have been some really, really uh, exciting communication that came through, maybe in regards to this Ace of Wands. So maybe this was communication in regards to a new job or even maybe a new relationship, but there could have been communication that was very significant here. Also, this is you moving down a new path. This is you going on a new adventure, Libra. And maybe there is a fire sign person that has something to do with this because in the, in the recent past, I do have the King of Wands. So this can be a male or female fire sign energy. So Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. Now, for some of you, this could have been the person that you were communicating with. For others, um, this certainly could have been your energy. The King of Wands is very, very passionate. And he's a go-getter. So when he wants something, he's going to take action. He's going to go after it. So for some of you, this could have been you taking action because you're ready to walk down a new path. And you are. This is you moving towards this Ace of Wands here. Now, crowning you, uh, this is really 
Libra, the only caution that I have for you, uh, we do have the Nine of Swords here. So needing to stay out of your head, needing to stay away from negative thoughts. The Nine of Swords is a person who is maybe thinking the worst or, or dealing with some worry, some anxiety around a particular situation, really maybe thinking about it far too much possibly staying up at night, losing sleep over whatever this is. I think that many of you, you're trying to manifest, you're trying to start something new, and it's something you're very passionate about. So I think that for some of you, that's why we have this Nine of Swords here, because you're worried, you're thinking about it far too much, and, and maybe it is making you lose some sleep. Um, for others, I think that there's clarity that's needed. For a very small number of you, I think that there's some clarity that's needed. Maybe you're waiting for like the, uh, for some of you could be waiting on some sort of communication with the Page of Wands, sometimes it can represent uh, communication that you have to wait for. You know it's coming, but sometimes, you know, there is a wait that's attached to this. So for some of you, maybe you're waiting like that on that go ahead. Uh, you know it's coming in, you know you're moving towards this, but maybe you're just waiting on that, that kind of go ahead or that, that communication that allows you to move forward. So stay out of your mind. Um, just make sure you're getting enough sleep, Libra. I don't want to see you worry unnecessarily over this. This is exactly what you're moving towards. Now, around the second week, we do have the energy of the star coming in. So this is beautiful. So this is a wonderful healing energy. And it's it's a nice confirmation, Libra, that you're on the right path. This is also that divine energy. So your angels, your guides around you. It could be things happening on divine time as well. Uh, but also this is a beautiful healing energy. So I see, you know, some of you that maybe you're worrying too much. This is you now maybe overcoming that. You're healing. Your anxieties are, are being relieved in some way with the star. This is a beautiful healing energy. It's also wish fulfillment. So something could be happening around this time. Some sort of wish could be coming true. Something is giving you hope because the star represents hope. You remaining optimistic, keeping the faith very, very positive. So for some of you, if you were a little bit more negative in the beginning of the month, uh, something could be transpiring here. That's that's pretty amazing. For some of you, it's a wish come true, uh, but something is happening that, that is, is giving you hope and really um, making you have a more positive outlook here. Uh, beautiful, beautiful energy. And then we have this Ace of Cups that's coming through. So you have, you know, a couple of Aces here. You definitely are starting something new in the month of January. So that's what I meant when I say, you know, you are moving towards this. Even if you can't manifest it literally right at the start of the month, I mean, you're manifesting it here. Uh, this Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups can be the same new beginning. For others, you know, you know, it might be two new beginnings that you're starting in the month of January. But with the Ace of Cups, this is a beautiful blessing from the heavens. Something that's coming through that is going to fulfill you on an emotional level. And I do feel like for some of you, this is a new relationship. Either a new relationship or you absolutely could be um, reconnecting or um, re reigniting that passion within your current relationship. Uh, because we have the Two of Cups here and the position of how those around you are viewing you, we have the Two of Cups. So I definitely see many of you spending more time with your partner. Maybe some of you are reconciling or uh, just reigniting that passion within your current relationship. This is a very, very passionate energy with the Ace of Wands. This is, for me, the most passionate energy within the entire deck. And then we have this beautiful energy that's coming through. So for many of you, you could be starting a new relationship. And then for other Libras, um, yeah, this is going to be, if you're already a partnered Libra, this is going to be a very, very passionate month for you. Uh, you also could be conceiving. There could be some, I don't have the Empress here, but that's what, just what I'm getting. There could be some Libras that are conceiving maybe around the third week of the month. Okay. Uh, also... If you are single, and for those of you who are not getting into a relationship, uh, with the Two of Cups here, this could be a business partner, this could be a friend, this could be a family member. With the Ace of Wands, there could be some Libras that maybe you're starting a business, 
and this could be either your business partner or someone that you're working with there could be another person that's very significant around the third week okay so for some of you that's how you're going to relate to this energy now I do feel like for some of you you are moving to a new home uh, this ace of wands this ace of cups can absolutely be a new home it's something that's exciting it could be something you're very passionate about but maybe this is going to be a home that just brings you a lot of joy a place that you really love living because in the hopes and fears position I have the tower and the tower can very much represent a building or a home and with the six of, of swords here and then the ace of wands I think that some Libra you're you're trying to move to a new house or you are absolutely moving to a new house in January so this is what you're hoping for for other Librans the tower represents something big something major so this is a big change that maybe you're hoping for maybe this is what you're worried about you know maybe at the start of the month very much in the mind uh, worrying about this great change um, and then for other Librans, the tower represents that very sudden energy. So I think that maybe some of you are wanting to wanting something to happen maybe a lot quicker than than you know how it is happening. I think that you want something to happen a little bit faster than how it is manifesting. And then you are leaving the month of January Libra with the energy of the King of Cups. So a lot of characters here you have three kings we have the king of swords the king of wands and now we have the king of cups here so for some of you this is your energy but the king of cups this is a very loving caring generous person a very compassionate person someone with a big heart um, someone who's highly highly intuitive so for some of you this can be your characteristics right at the end of the month highly highly intuitive maybe listening to your intuition with this new beginning or with this new with this relationship or you're following your heart um, but then for other Librans this could absolutely be a Scorpio Cancer or Pisces individual maybe someone with water in their chart or someone who has this these characteristics here this person could be very significant at the end of the month here um, but I do feel like for many of you this is your energy you're in a really good place emotionally I think that for some of you um, you're maybe uh, reconnecting with someone maybe reconnecting with your partner or reigniting that passion within your your current relationship and then for other Librans I think you're getting into a relationship and so this is you know matters of the heart at this time being very significant at the end of January so you know this is a great way to end the month I see you going into February in a really um, you know high note here uh, for some of you you're you maybe just entered into a new relationship and sometimes the tower will show up uh, especially if you're a, a Libra who has been single for quite some time maybe you've met someone that literally has rocked your world um, and this very well could be a very strong attraction uh, a very very passionate relationship with this energy of the ace of wands so potentially potentially excuse me a fire sign person or a water sign person uh, perhaps even another ear sign person and then with the star the star represents the sign of Aquarius so there could even be uh, an Aquarius maybe some of you are, are partnered with an Aquarian but overall as you can see Libra it's going to be an amazing month for you uh, I see overall yes you're more um, matters of the heart are definitely more significant for you this month I think you're a little bit more emotional but also very very fiery and very passionate yes at the start of the month you have this more logical energy to you but then definitely towards the second half of the month this is you being a little bit more emotional in a good way uh, because I think your focus is very much on partnership or your partnership at this time relationships um, but overall it's going to be a great month for you Financially, I don't feel like it's it's going to be a, a, a negative month for you whatsoever. This Ace of Wands for some of you can absolutely be like a new business that you, you are starting here. All right, additional guidance for Libra for January 2017. Libra, what does Libra need to know? Please show me. All right, very interesting. 
I'm going to choose from these cards, Libra. So now I'm going to pull you an additional Romance Angel card. Libra. Additional guidance for Libra in regards to love and relationships for January 2017. Libra. Libra. So the additional guidance card for the month of January is Archangel Michael, trusting heaven. You are safe. Angels stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow a, a miracle to occur. So Archangel Michael is definitely with you uh, this month, Libra. He's bringing, he's blessing you with that courage, that confidence, that strength that you need. But also, he is asking you to surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur. So for those Librans that have been worrying about something, uh, you really, really need to let go of those concerns. You are safe. This is a beautiful message. You are safe. Angels stand close, okay? And I do think that around the second week, you're definitely uh, moving away from this anxiety or whatever has been worrying you, okay? Now, your additional Romance Angel card is, of course, we have the Soulmate card. Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualiz visualizations help bring you together. Beautiful. So if you're single, okay, if you're single and looking... This is you needing to remain positive, you need to pray, you need to say those affirmations, and you need to visualize. Uh, ask the angels or tell the angels exactly what it is that you're looking for in a person, and then you need to remain positive and let them bring that person to you. Uh, and then for others, uh, I think we have a soulmate that's coming in. So for those single Librans, that are getting into a relationship this month, that are meeting someone, this definitely could be a soulmate relationship. Again, a very passionate relationship. Uh, yeah, and for those of you who are already in a relationship, I think it's going to be an amazing month for you. Okay, you are safe. Angels stand close. Surrender your concerns and allow a miracle to occur, Libra. So this is beautiful. So I do hope that you found this reading helpful, Libra, and I wish you a wonderful month of January. Take care.